morning everybody welcome to my channel my name is amanda and this is my first day of clinical it is five o'clock in the morning i am pretty much ready to go i just have to pack up throw some food together and then i'll be on my way i have to be at clinical by 6 a.m and it is over 30 minutes away so first day i'm gonna be plenty early hopefully i don't have to get up quite so early in the future I'm done with my first ever clinical shift and it went so much better than I thought it was gonna go. I was really, really nervous and I got to see so many things in action today. It was crazy. Um, so I have to go home. We have a post-clinical debrief session at 1.30 and it's like 12, a little after 12.30 now. So talk to you later it is 6 30 i got home and we did our post-clinical debrief so we got to talk about what characteristics our nurse exhibited that we would also like to exhibit and anything cool that we saw so it was a nice way to catch up with everybody and share our experiences after our first clinical then after that i <laughs> Had a little bit of food and I fell asleep for two and a half hours because I was exhausted. So that is the first thing I can say about clinical is it was exhausting. <laughs> um, I went to bed a little after nine, got up at 4.50, but wow, I was so tired and there was a lot of standing. I didn't walk a ton. I thought I was going to be, you know, like back and forth, back and forth between patient rooms. But there actually wasn't a ton of like walking necessarily, but there's a lot of time like just standing up on my feet and I am really like sore from shifting my weight. So I gotta be more careful about that. What did I actually see at clinical? Obviously I can't share, you know, any details about the patient population because I do have to follow HIPAA. So when we first got there at six o'clock, we don't have our nurses to check in with yet. They don't get there until seven. So we got a little bit of a tour. We got to learn how to use the EPIC system, which is what the patient charting is in. And then got our username and password set up for logging into the computer systems and to EPIC. Then once seven o'clock came, our nurses started showing up. So we found the nurse that we were assigned to. Uh, usually we'll be assigned to a specific patient underneath one of the nurses. But today we are just assigned to shadow a nurse for all four of their patients. And there are only three nurses that weren't treating COVID patients. We are not allowed to treat any COVID patients because we are students. There were just a couple nurses on the floor that were not treating COVID patients. And we were in groups of three, three and then a group of two, eight students total. Then once our nurse came and we got to meet them, we heard from the night shift nurses about let's do that check-in. We went pretty much right away to med administration. And this was something we did a lot of. We did a lot of med administration, but it was really interesting because we had a lot of different kinds of med administration. Of course, there were a lot of oral medications to administer, but it was really neat to see in Pixis the like drawers just pop out with the right medication section that opens up so you know what to take from and you just pick the correct dosage according to the MAR. We also got to do insulin checks and then watch her deliver insulin. So it was an abdomen subcutaneous injection with an insulin pen. We got to see that in action which was nice because we did that last week in lab. We got to see that on a real person. Then we got to see a drain removal, which was probably the most interesting part of my clinical experience because it was showing the wound care and then just showing 
like the drainage process. So that was definitely a little bit alarming at first. I mean, and see like a urinary catheter, but it's a drain and it's got like blood in the collection bag, which was a little bit nauseating at first. So I had to kind of tell myself, like, just pretend it's practice, just like in lab, and then it was fine. Um, I got over it, but I was a little like surprised at first. And then we got to see a drain come out of someone's spine. I'm on an ortho unit. It just went and went and went. Like it seemed like she was pulling it out forever. It was crazy. Other than that, we got to see an IV push medication. We got to see an IV piggyback antibiotic medication. We got to see a lot of moving patients. So repositioning them laying down to sitting up or using the gate belts to assist them to the bathroom. Another fun thing, I got to see a suppository put in. Um, I thought that was really interesting. So yeah. It's really great that there are so many people that are willing to let students come in and we see a lot so it's really really great that so many people are willing to share their experiences and be vulnerable with us so that we can learn. Um, yeah, a little bit more about our unit is again I said we're charting with Epic. As far as communicating, they have little like phones you can call like the physician technician on it or call down to the pharmacy or call to the charge nurse and communicate that way. So those are pretty neat. I've never seen it quite like that before. So like in the middle of treating patient, you get like a little ding on the phone and they'd be like, like, hey, what do you need? And then they tell you and be like, okay, I'm treating a patient right now, but I will be with you shortly. And then there we go. So it kind of, it doesn't like take place of call lights, but it definitely is like the first line before using your call light, I suppose. I mean, it seems like we did so much. I feel like I didn't list as much, but it was. There's a lot of med administration and charting and pulling meds from Pixis and getting acquainted to the surroundings. It's just seeing how things function overall. It was, it was really exciting. Like I said, I was so nervous this morning and getting there and like finding parking was stressful, but I made it on time. It was very close. I was going to film quick before my clinical started, but I was like cutting it close on time. So it didn't happen. It's all good. Next week, I will have clinical on Thursday again. Mine is consistently Thursdays, but I'll actually be assigned a patient and I'll have to do a patient care plan worksheet and get to know my patient. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed hearing a little bit about my clinical experience. It was just a crazy day, but it was so reinforcing. I feel a lot more confident going into next clinical where I'm one-on-one -on -one with a patient and doing more of the actual care. If you enjoyed hearing about my clinical experience, you can like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more about my nursing journey. I post Tuesdays and Thursdays. I'm pretty consistent. Usually there'll be a vlog type video somewhere in there or nursing specific video on Thursdays. And yeah, I hope everyone has a great day and I will see you in the next one.